This is huge. What if AI knows your entire code base? What if you can chat with your entire code base? As a result, you're going to code 20 times faster and you can code with your natural language. That's when we have Praise and AI code. It's easy to get started. Just navigate to the folder of your choice and then type Praise and AI code and then click enter. This will automatically open this user interface, which gives us the list of files included in the context and also it gives the token count. Now, based on this context, I can ask a question. What are my project requirements? And click enter. Now we got the answer based on the entire code base. You can see here, based on the provided code snippets, your project seems to be a Python package named GraphRag. And here are the project requirements based on the code. Core functionality, technical requirements, additional consideration. Now I can even ask specific question based on a specific file in this list. So if I want to ask specific question from all these files, let's take models folder. So I'm going to ask how models are used in this. Here you can see a holistic response. The code you provided demonstrate how models are used in the graph rag project for various tasks, such as fine tuning prompts, indexing, querying, and here it gives the models being used. Open AI models, including GPT-4, text embedding three small, open AI chat LLM, open AI completion LLM, and open AI embeddings LLM. Also, I can be specific. So I can just say, based on this file, improve the code and then click enter. And here you can see it automatically giving me a code, which is improved version. This increases our productivity. And based on my experience, I'm doing 20 times faster than I used to do coding before. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Prezen AI code. So without Prezen AI code, you need to manually copy the context from the files, paste it in chatbot or in ChatGPT or in Claude, then ask questions. And the questions we ask is all over the place. No real-time context update and no context customization. It doesn't know the entire code base and it is time consuming. But with Prezen AI code, AI knows the entire code base. You can chat with the entire code base. You can code 20 times faster and it has real-time context update. You can use your natural language to code. By the end of this video, you will know how you can set up Prezen AI code, how you can feed the entire code base, how you can integrate with Olama, Grok and Gemini, and finally, how you can customize. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So this is one of my main projects which I'm working for some time and it improves my coding speed. So I just thought of open sourcing it. The main issue came when I have to enter the whole code in ChatGPT or in Claude and ask question, how can I improve the code? So now this is going to give me a response to improve the code. But again, I need to implement this code in my actual file. At this time, the context which I provided before to chat GPT is outdated. And even if I make any changes to the code, chat GPT doesn't know. Chat GPT doesn't know that I have copied the code correctly and pasted it in the correct place. So all the suggestions or assumptions, they are not definite. This resulted in me spending a lot of time fixing the code compared to how it was before. So I came to a situation where I need to feed the entire code base to the large language model to get better response. Considering we now have Google Gemini with 2 million context length, ChatGPT using 128,000 tokens, and many large language models available using Olama with larger contexts. So we can use that for our own advantage. So this simplifies the process of copying the code across and also real-time context update. So first we are going to see how you can set this up. As a quick example, let's take this graph rag repo. I'm just copying the repo URL. So this is a big code base. So on my mission, I'm going to git clone and provide the full code base here and click enter. Now navigate into the graph rag folder. Now to install, pip install Prezen AI code and then click enter. This will install the main Prezen AI code package. I'm going to show you how you can integrate ChatGPT, Google Gemini, Grok and Olama. 
First exporting OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Then export Gemini API key like this and then click enter. Next export Grok API key like this and then click enter. You don't need to export every single thing if you're not planning to use one or the other. So if you're planning to use only Grok, just use only Grok. And after this, click enter. Next, just type Prezen AI code and then click enter in the same folder where you got the code base. This will automatically open this user interface where you can see the token count and also you can see the list of files which is going to use as context. But I don't need to use all these folders because I'm not going to go through all of these folders and I might have other requirements such as keeping the total number of tokens low so that it costs little. So if you want to remove some folders such as doc site, coming back to my terminal, just creating a file called settings.yaml. So in this file, we are just setting the list of files to ignore. Anything which starts with dot, similarly I've added a few files. I will put this code in the description below. So you can just copy and paste it. After this, if you want to add doc site, you can just add a hyphen and just type doc site. That's it. Now when you come to the user interface, you can see the doc site folder is not there. Similarly, I'm going to remove a few more folders such as examples, example notebooks, because these are not required for the context. Now I've added a few in the ignore files. Similarly, you can exclude files if it's not required. Now you can see the token count is 41,000, which is good. Now I'm going to set the large language model by clicking the settings here. GPT 3.5 Turbo and confirm. Now I can ask question. Give me an overview of the code. In the terminal, I can see the maximum context length is 16,000, but currently the token length is 41,000. So considering this code base is large, we can't use ChatGPT. So let's use Gemini. To use Gemini, go to settings again. Here, just type Gemini slash Gemini 1.5 flash and click confirm. Now again, I'm going to ask, give me an overview of the code. Now you can see it's automatically trying to respond. And here is the response. It's giving me the core functionality, graph rag model, indexing, search and retrieval. So now I'm going to ask, check now if there are any issues in the file name and then click enter. Now it's checking. Now you can see the response. I've reviewed the code. It's giving some suggestions inconsistent handling of Azure API parameters, potential typo here, and other observation and recommendation. And you can keep on improving the code from here. This is super exciting. This is going to increase your productivity of coding, and you can give you a natural language to modify these files. Next, we'll see how you can implement Grok with this. We have already exported Grok API key in our terminal. So it's just a matter of changing the model name here. Grok slash Mixtral. I'm choosing Mixtral because it contains larger context length compared to Llama 3. Now I can ask, give me an overview of the content, just for a quick demo. In the terminal, I can see the request entity too large. That means the context length 41,000 is still larger to handle Mixtral. If you see Grok documentation, you can see Mixtral, the maximum tokens allowed is 32,000. So you might need to exclude few files and folders bring it below 32,000 to get this working. Now, finally, we are going to see how you can integrate Olama with this. Make sure you download Olama from olama.com, then Olama pull Llama 3 and then click enter. Next, in our settings, same as before, we're gonna mention Olama slash Llama 3 and then click confirm. The token length for Llama 3 is far low compared to this. So you might need to choose only a small folder, but there are various versions such as Llama 3 8B 1 million parameter model, but the quality of the response is going to be lower. So the better the model, the quality of the response or the error fixing is going to be better. I'm really excited about this. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about this and what all extra features you would like to be in this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.